Hey, this is Swagger's doing a video for Has Been Heroes. This is a look at one of the two boss fights. They don't have names, so I'm going to call this guy Warping Moth Hoodie Skeleton. And the first thing to note, if you don't know about Has Been Heroes, is that combat is based on stamina, which are those green uh, squares that I'm hitting. You can't do any damage to an enemy until all those squares are gone for one. Also, you can only change lanes in the middle of combat. So I'd screw that one up because... That the big guy right there, you want him with the main hit. He's going to do the most damage. And that's how you beat bosses, is doing the most damage. You can also see I, I put on the spell there where he can do two hits. So now he's got five. Also, when you stun someone, which means you get them exactly at the right number of stamina, the next hit lowers their stamina requirements. Now what this boss does is he warps around... And so you've got to be careful because his his uh, shadows come at you quickly. Now I was I was waiting to see if he loses that shadow, but he doesn't. So you just need to kind of pound on him um, to get that shadow done. But the biggest thing you need to know is that see, and I screwed that one up too because he's not in the right lane now. Now I'm going to be doing damage with this guy, but he's going to get six hits, so it's not bad. You've got to manage the stamina. That guy on the bottom right now, the quote unquote healer, doesn't really do any healing. He does. Two hits every time, but you can see he only does like five or six damage. So if he's the one who ends up making the hit, you've wasted all your time. So you got to do the math every time and just watch how long it takes. When he's clear like this, it seems like it just takes one full path. So I'm going to hit him one, and then with the three, and then you want to move back that guy. He's stunned, so he's not going to move. Wait for him to heal up. If you have spells, this is the time to put him on. And then, boom, we hit him with the big shot. Um, and that's how you defeat this guy. My problem with this game, with the bosses, is the other boss has, like, a chain on his head with a bandana. And he just spawns a bajillion skeletons. I mean, there's just... I don't know how it's even possible. I know it's a roguelike and you're not supposed to win every single time. But it, it gets crazy, just the amount of enemies that are coming at you. And just the perfect setup you have to have um, so again now that we've hit him so many times with perfect hits see so wait for him to clear now he's only got two but it seems like his ability is when he's shadow like that you have to just hit him with everyone so he got close there again you know, it's the pathing. See, you only do, you know, seven, five. Unfortunately, he was, he was down enough that that counted as a kill. Um, but there you go. There's kind of a quick overview of just combat and one of the first bosses in Has Been Heroes.